Peggy 18. Hi, I'm Ananda Gupta. I'm the lead designer on XCOM Enemy Within. That's the expansion to the award-winning XCOM Enemy Unknown, which came out last year. And I'm really excited today to be able to talk about some of the new weapons, items, and enemies and environments that we're adding to the game in this expansion. Alright, so here the Sky Ranger is landing on uh, one of our new maps, that's the Hydroelectric Dam map. Uh, this is a great new environment that we're adding to the game, and here uh, we're going to send in some of our rookies to, uh, to take a look at what's going on. Uh, the red shirts are purely coincidental. And here's a Thin Man. Uh, most of you will remember this enemy, and he does what Thin Men do. And a Muton should have even less trouble. So we'll have to do better. The aliens aren't backing down, Commander. Now might be a good time to field test our latest advancements. All right, our latest advancements. So this is the Mech Trooper, uh, as well as a pair of soldiers who have been genetically modified in XCOM's new genetics lab. Uh, let's talk about the Mech Trooper first. So he is a new soldier class. He gets to wear the mechanized exoskeletal cyber suit, or Mech. And his main weapon is a minigun. These aliens are in cover, but our mech trooper can deal with that. He has an ability called collateral damage, and this lets him destroy cover at a very high ammo cost. Alright, so the Thin Man is down, and the Muton is still up, but his cover is gone. Uh, our sniper would like to set up a good shot on him, but she wants height advantage. Now, there's no ladder, but her genetically modified leg muscles will help get her there to set up the headshot. All right, the Muton is down, so we'll advance our other soldier to look for more threats on this battlescape. Oh, this is a sectoid commander. You may remember him from XCOM Enemy Unknown. He has the power of mind control. But this one's in for a surprise. Our soldier has a gene mod called Neural Feedback. That's a brain modification that causes a backlash against psionic attacks. Alright, a sectoid is going to move to flank. And a berserker is going to come in. Now, we're going to deal with the sectoid first. Uh, our mech is out of ammo, but he also mounts a kinetic strike module. This is a rocket-powered fist that gives him a devastating close-quarters attack. Now we have to deal with the Berserker. Those of you who fought Berserkers in XCOM Enemy Unknown will remember that they like to go after enemies who deal damage to them. So we're not going to shoot at him right away. Instead, we're going to set up overwatch shots with both of our soldiers and let the Berserker, whose aggressive nature leads him to engage the nearest target, have a go at the mech. So our soldiers take their reaction shots, but the Berserker is still alive and dangerous. You'll notice that XCOM's gene-modded soldiers have their own unique armor style. This gives them a distinctive look on the battlefield, uh, but it works the same way as the rest of XCOM's armor technology. So Thin Man's gonna drop in behind us, so worse and worse. But our mech can still use his kinetic strike module and teach this Berserker a lesson. Alright, so the Berserker is down, but the Thin Man is still there. Now our sniper, however, has one of Dr. Shen's new inventions, and that's the Needle Grenade. So the Needle Grenade is like a regular grenade, but it has a huge blast radius. However, it also obeys cover, so the Thin Man will be hurt, but our soldier is safe. Okay, the Thin Man is down, so we can take our soldier Move him up, put him on overwatch, and here we have a sectoid. No sweat. Strike one. We're picking up an unidentified contact. That's odd. 
It almost looks like a few signatures. Well, Central sounds concerned. We should check that out. So we'll move the mech up. And he'll meet the mechtoid. And this is a sectoid in a battle suit. Of course the aliens have their own mechs. That was just a small sample of the new weapons, abilities, and challenges that we've added to the world of XCOM. Thanks for watching.